<laughs> Shawnee here. Uh, if you've been redirected to this video, I'm going to be covering the changes that have been made to Swift 3 or even Swift 2, because I believe from my last video it was Swift 2. Uh, and I want to show you that I'm actually doing this on beta. I downloaded Xcode version 9 beta 3, and if you're curious about how to get that, just sign in uh, to your developer account and download the Xcode 9. Uh, it was pretty easy and I actually have both Xcode 8 and Xcode 9 running on my, sh my machine, but Xcode 9 shows up as Xcode beta, so I haven't had any issues yet in regards to um, opening uh, Xcode 9 and Xcode 8, but you do have to be careful though if you're opening up projects that you're working on like I am and making sure that you open it up in the right one. <laughs> so I always make sure, right click on the project and make sure that the correct version of Xcode is selected. Okay, that's really the only thing I'm gonna say that, I mean, other than that, everything has been working pretty okay as far as having two versions of Xcode on my machine. All right, once you get this downloaded, or if you already have Xcode 9, awesome! Let's go ahead and get started, okay? So I'm actually going to shut this down. Um, so I was going over uh, some of my code from the last time I've done this, and there are quite a bit of changes. Um, I'm going to start out with strings and characters, so I'm not really going to go through what a string is. Um, and everything that you see here that's not commented out is still good. Um, really the only thing that's changed as far as appending is uh, the this syntax has changed just a tad. So um, we're going to append the contents of Bob to the greeting, and the greeting is up here, which is first string and second string, so hello there. Uh, so if we want to do this in Xcode 4, I believe this also applies to Xcode 3. It's just I've <laughs> been doing it and I just probably haven't realized it. So I do greeting dot and it'll show me append. So I want to do append contents of, I believe. Yes. So if you see here, um, the contents of is now the parameter name for what's coming in. In this case, it's going to be name. And what should come in is the greeting with Bob's name attached. All right, so we see there that uh, hello there Bob has now been attached to the greeting string here. So again, that was just more of a content change, which isn't that bad. Um, if you've done the video and you realize, oh, it's telling you it's wrong, you know, it's usually right. So you can update it from there. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and undo this one. Now this one should work. Oopsie, so binary plus cannot be applied to operands of string and character. So this is actually um, a good thing that I did this. Um, it's Swift 3 even is very, it's, it's, it's a stickler for, um, like it really defines the difference between a string and a character. In my next video, I'll show you a playground that I used for my app because I'm actually dealing a lot with strings and I developed the code to handle a string coming in in a different way and I, I del it delves into um, finding like the index of a string and using a character and I, it was actually quite interesting because it's be Swift was very type very strongly typed and they definitely shut this down. <laughs> they, they definitely limited, um, you know, using a character and a string together. Uh, you would think they are the same, but it's not. <laughs> so what we're probably going to have to do is somehow change exclamation point from a character to a string. I'm just going to try something here. I actually didn't plan this out, but I'm hoping I can convert it. Okay, so I have no problems here. Um, I basically just converted the character into a string. If you notice, it did add the exclamation point. So again, I actually am glad that it <laughs> I uncommented that out because 
it actually really shows that now you have to be really careful about working with strings and characters because they are absolutely totally different even though you would think that they aren't or that they're the same but they are actually very different so you have to convert a lot of things okay so going on to unicode um, nothing really has changed here if you don't know what this is you know go back to my other video and uh, review it is the same nothing has really changed at all counting characters exactly the same thing so basically it takes the word and it counts the characters that are contained in that variable German greeting and it counts it okay so <laughs> I commented all of this out because a lot has changed with accessing and modifying a string so let's go back and I'm just going to go over this really briefly but basically a lot of the syntax has changed we don't have predecessor anymore we don't have successor anymore um, I don't believe we even have advanced by so this is going to be fun because none of this has actually None of this <laughs> exists. So let's go ahead and um, work with this for a little bit. All right, so I'm going to uncomment that because that's a comment. So this doesn't exist anymore. So string indices cannot be indexed by integer values. You'll see what I mean by this um, in my next video. I just wanted to make this extremely clear that you cannot use integer values even though it comes out looking like an integer it does not so let's go ahead and play around with this so I'm going to do German greeting and end index so I believe that is still accurate it is so the end of that index is is of G is 9 so there's 9 should be 9 characters five yep there's a space and nine so that is still good um, star index should also be the same and it is so the start of the index is zero so it's kind of like a, a an array uh, where we count from zero as the beginning the first the very first index and then one two three four till nine all right so <laughs> Um, let's get predecessor. I'm curious how to do this. So, um, so I guess we do before. So greeting index before greeting end index. So that's a little different. So if we want to get the the uh, preceding index var and index equals I'm going to try to pull this index out see greeting I'm just going to copy this real quick paste it up here so I can see it so it'd be greeting greeting dot index Okay, so we have index after and before, so I want before, and then before the end. Let's see what it outputs. So it outputs B. Oh wait, I meant to do German greeting. So I'm going to copy that in, because that's the one I want to look at. All right. Okay, so German greeting index before the end is a G. All right, so this is going backwards. So what we're asking it is, what's the preceding letter at that comes after the end? So it starts, wait a second. A 
Okay, so that's I, or the, so that is the end. Oh, okay, so what this does is it actually outputs the character. Okay, that's interesting. So instead of just having an, in, actually, so we have actual index here and it's at nine, but we want to, so what this does, it actually outputs the character at that index. I don't know why I didn't figure that out. <laughs> um, okay, that's awesome. Okay, so the next one, um, we're going to pull out the actual index. So I'm actually going to have this equal the end index. And the reason why I wanted this is because I want to show you that even though this is a nine, this is not an integer. And if we hold down our option key and hover over, we should be able to see that it is string.index. That is its type. So you can't put uh, like a two. Um, you actually have to put actual index. So say if I want to try this out with, um, I know this is not going to work, but um, I'm going to say not. Um, string index. And then I'm just going to copy this here. And instead of putting an index here, I'm going to just put like a one. And it shouldn't work. No, it doesn't. So see, it's freaking out. Um, so you can't do that. You can't just put in a number. You actually have to make sure that it is, it is of that type. Um, I do dot index before. And so it's a string character view index, index type for subs subscripting a string. All right, so that's the difference. Just wanted to let you know that you can't just type in a number, which is the reason why I put this up here is that you can't index it by integers. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is um, let's look at this one where I made an index, an index equal to the end, and it gives me an error. So that obviously doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so successor, this is also changed. So I'm going to delete that. So, let's see what they say in regards to that. All right, so after would be the opposite of preceding. So we're going to do var output. opposite char. And I'll just go ahead and enter all this information in. So we do index after. And I do end index. So what's after the end index? Let's find out. Should be the capital G. Nope, it's an error. So you can't increment beyond end index. So again, you can't, we could probably do the negative, but let's try um, the start then. So that's after the big G. So, so after the first is a U, which is correct. So you have to be careful about indexes, like where, where they end and where they start. Again, that's a little quite quite a bit different <laughs> from what I'm used to. Um, 
So what comes after would be here. Okay. So the next one is advanced by, let's see. So we actually would use offset instead of advanced by. So let's change this to offset. This is actually quite fun. I, I didn't realize, I mean, I realized that there's quite a bit of differences. Um, I just haven't gone into this much detail about it. Um, mainly because I had I had a need for for one of my apps, so this is um, to actually go through it though is definitely fun. So offset would be um, kind of equal to advancing, I guess. Well, let's just make sure we use the terminology offset. <laughs> so you'll uh, let offset index equal. German greeting, and we're going to go ahead and do start index, and then um, actually we do index, right? So we do index, German greeting, start index, and then we tell it what to offset it by. So in this case, we're going to offset it by four. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that would be four. So let's go ahead and look at what that would actually output. That should output the A, I believe. Okay, so I don't like that. So uh, use advance by index. Oh, because I should have changed it to offset index. Let's change that to offset because that no longer exists. All right. Oh, it's the N. Okay, yeah, that's right. So um, it's zero, one, two, three, four would be N. All right, well, that is interesting. So we use offset now instead of an, an advanced by index. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, if this has helped you at all, you know, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to catch the second part of this update on Swift for strings. Till next time, my friends, keep calm and code on.